Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button so I can begin to grow and share my videos with more of the world and I would really appreciate that. Anyway, so today I'm going to be sharing some of my personal tips, things that I do to maintain healthy, radiant skin with as least products as possible and as natural as possible as well. And that is a huge theme is with my skin. I know that when I keep it as natural and simple as possible, this is when my skin can truly thrive and breathe. So getting right into it, it's important to draw awareness to the fact that the skin is the largest organ of the body and it is in direct contact with the external environment, with the external world. So having awareness of your emotions, your emotional body and how you feel about your external world or your direct environment. How are you relating to others in your environment? Who are you around? What are you in contact with? What type of toxins may be in the air? How is your house? How cluttered is it? Or how clean is it? And how do you feel about it? Because um, your skin really reflects how you feel. Your body reflects how you feel. Even when you say you do have healthy skin on your face, it's not going to look healthy. You're going to be able to see um, that there's some sort of blockage there if a person is not truly happy with their environment. So it is very important to have awareness of how you feel about your environment because this autumn, this will reflect, your body reflects, your skin reflects how you are feeling and the whole point is that you want to feel good so you want to feel empowered by the people that you're around you want to feel that you can be completely yourself and authentic and you don't have to hide yourself and being aware physically too you know your cluttered environment is that really serving you or is it energetically weighing you down toxins that might be in the environment around you if you're in a big city. It's important to have natural, fresh oxygen to breathe and air and feel a sense of lightness in your environment, not a sense of heaviness. Being aware of your stress levels is huge. So the stress is, again, the number one immune killer in the body and it also really, really affects your Skin as well so and sometimes life will present us with circumstances that um, there's not a lot we can do with the stress that we are being handed however we can have tools in the back of our pocket that we can do every single day to help us cope with stress and my number one tool that I use is meditation. Every single morning I meditate and in the evening too if I, if I can, for sure, even for just a few minutes, meditate. So this is helping your homeostasis regulate. This is helping your nervous system regulate. Personally, when I meditate, um, I really enjoy using the power of affirmations, positive affirmations, and visualization. So for example, I can have it in my mind, visualize exactly what I want my skin to look like, imagining it just glowing and radiating and radiating all of the love that I have within myself and allowing having that power to bring that out of my out of myself and using positive affirmations to change the brain circuits um, the pathways of your brain circuits this is known as neuroplasticity of the brain you know uh, deliberately thinking positive thoughts can actually change your brain so as you are meditating and focusing on your breath, breath is huge as well, 
um, saying to yourself, I am beautiful with every inhale and exhale, I release what is not serving me or inhale, I have healthy, radiant skin. Exhale, thank you skin for being so healthy and radiant. It's like literally thanking your body, thanking your skin for being so healthy and so radiant, even if that's not how you truly feel, but just saying it over and over as you are breathing and as you are saying that to yourself in your head when you're meditating and breathing, how does that make you feel? Connect to the emotion as if you did have really healthy and radiant skin and you felt really good in your body. How does that make you actually feel about your skin? Feeling empowered, feeling like you want to show yourself to others and be present and let your radiant light shine, right? Diet, of course, is extremely important. So nourishing your body, nourishing your cells from the inside out, extremely important. Always starting your day with water before anything else. Always water first. And quite a lot. So I carry this around with me and I fill this up multiple times a day. It's important to be hydrating throughout the whole day, but I personally really love first thing in the morning, breaking the fast, you know, with water and hydrating as much as possible. And also eating a diet that is full of very um, water dense foods like fruit so I don't go a day without eating fruit um, you know our bodies are different and there will be different things that feel better for you but I feel so good basically starting my, my day with fruit like every single day um, whatever is in season in your area is going to be better um, but there are always staples, you know, like bananas and apples and organic as possible for sure, as water dense as possible and making sure that it's ripe. So it's very important to make sure that your fruit is ripe and it's not like hard and dense. You want it to be soft. Um, some spots too, it doesn't have, of course not like moldy or over spotted, but you want it to be ripe because that's when the enzymes will um, just nourish your body uh, the best. Um, so I usually start my day with fruit and sometimes I eat fruit throughout the whole day too. Always incorporating a lots of just whole foods in general. So lots of greens, dark leafy greens are very nourishing for the skin. I love making big salads, always incorporating vegetables into my diet. So just as much fruit and veggies as possible in your diet because they are so nourishing and offer so many vitamins and the, some of the best vitamins that you can get, vitamin C, E, and A for the skin is achieving it through your diet. That is very key as well. And um, incorporating healthy fats into your diet too is really important for the elasticity of your skin. So personally, I love avocados. I eat like an avocado every day. Um, coconut, cooking with coconut oil, so like healthy organic oils, um, nuts and seeds, so just healthy whole fats. Whatever resonates with you as far as your diet, but make sure it's um, limited processing, very limited processed sugar and maybe limited caffeine as well. Sometimes caffeine can really um, offset your nervous system and cause an imbalance in your skin. Like a lot of people who drink lots of coffee, sometimes they will have skin issues because it's so dehydrating for the skin. So if you do need the caffeine, maybe just sticking with like one cup right when you wake up in the morning after you drink your water, of course. But, you know, trying to find the balance of your natural circadian rhythm, which can be a challenge, but it's very rewarding once you actually achieve that. Herbs, I absolutely love using herbs to help my skin flourish. 
So um, there are herbs that can actually help you build collagen in your body naturally. And this form of collagen is going to be a lot more sustainable too because it's natural and it's activating, you know, the natural collagen in your body. So for example, nettles is very um, mineralizing. He Shu Wu. Um, hibiscus is really beautiful for the skin. Calandula, rose hip, rose in general is a very, it's a beauty herb. And there are different ways to incorporate these herbs in your diet. So a tea, of course, is just great. And you can even find different blends of teas for the skin. You can find um, it in a tincture form, essential oils, or even a face serum so it's even better directly onto your face you know always nourishing the skin right from the skin so finding like an oil blend um, made for the skin that has these oils um, I do like to keep everything that I put on my face as minimal as possible so I really enjoy using uh, just simple oil like argon and rose hip so rosehip is probably my favorite um, just simple oil to use on my face just um, to hydrate and to uh, lessen the amount of dryness because personally my face gets a little bit dry. So I'll put rosehip oil um, right after my shower in the morning and when I put it on my face I always give myself a little bit of a face massage just with my fingertips very gentle and literally just massaging and this too stimulates the collagen in your body and doing it everywhere just very soft massaging everything and this makes a huge difference as well with like wrinkles and elasticity in general massaging your face with oils and like I said I like to keep um, the oils that I put on my face very minimal so with like rosehip it's just one ingredient and that's what I love about it or argon oil just one ingredient once in a while I will do something that's a little bit more complex so like an oil that has these different herbs in it that are really good for the skin and I mean once in a while I'll buy something for example like this here in Mexico um, I bought this happy face serum and it's been really good um, I would prefer to use this, um, if anything, maybe just like once a day or maybe once every other day. And like I said, this isn't something that I would continuously buy and use over and over. I like to use um, just one simple ingredient oil. Sorry about the rooster if you can hear that. Um, generally, but it is nice to buy something um, that is as natural as possible. So for example, this is 15% water and then oil. It has like a general carrier oil and then it has certain herbs in it. And mo this is basically in Spanish, but um, the ingredients are really natural. So there's aloe, which is very hydrating for the skin. There's rose, there's calendula, calendula moringa, chia, and a few other things, patchouli. And the rest is in Spanish and I don't know them. <laughs> but all, like I said, they're um, natural because they're herbs, you know? Um, no chemicals. I never use, never use chemicals on my face. Um, I understand maybe doing that like once or so, like in your shower or something, if you need you know a little something but I wouldn't you know be too rough on your face you want to be as gentle as possible you want to be kind to your skin and you don't want to be putting harsh chemicals on your skin um, along with that I stopped wearing foundation and heavy makeup years ago and my skin just 
totally um, it changed completely so when I was younger and wearing lots of foundation and things like this I would break out all the time and now I my skin never really breaks out if anything I'll have like you know a few little pimples around um, my moon cycle or if I go through a phase of like eating a few more like you know treats like some sugar you know that's a little it's kind still kind of healthy but too much of it you know I'll start kind of breaking out a little bit or stress you know of course and realizing that this is a process so my skin I feel good about it right now but sometimes I don't you know just realizing that it's a process and it's okay to it's okay to have zits you know what I mean we all have them and just like still loving yourself still loving your body regardless you know and just realizing that it's a process and it's it can be an ebb and flow and that's okay but just keep doing all the things all the self-care you know that makes you feel good um, so when I do get zits I never pick at them I just let them be you know I will gently wash them but never picking at them. I used to always pick and try to pick them off. Not good at all. Just let them be. And my favorite thing to use is sometimes I will use tea tree oil. <laughs> so tea tree oil is really great for zits. I don't use it excessively. So maybe um, if I have like a gnarly one that I just want to kind of help get rid of, um, I'll use this like once a day on it and personally so I would first make sure that I have like argon oil already on my face and then I just you know take a small little drop like in my palm and I put my fingertip on it and I just put it directly right on it and again just gentle massaging and you don't need a whole lot you're not like going for the tea tree it's just like one little drop putting it on there and just kind of like a little dab if you know what I mean so always being gentle with yourself <clears throat> um, but again like I said not wearing makeup has been a very transform transformative for my skin um, I think just letting your skin breathe is so important so when I do wear makeup sometimes I'll wear like a little bit of mascara or some sort of like natural eye um, color. I don't know like all the terms because I don't wear a whole lot of it. Um, but I, and you know, not everyone is gonna resonate with that and that's okay. I think it's really important to do whatever makes you feel good about yourself, whatever makes you feel beautiful. And there is nothing wrong with wearing makeup. Makeup can be really fun and it can be a way to really enhance your beauty and it can be really great. But I do encourage you to just keep it um, as natural as possible, as minimal as possible for um, the skin purposes but also just finding um, the beauty in your natural beauty you know I think a lot of women in our society um, are kind of scared to show their natural face you know they're afraid to show who they really are and that kind of goes with the whole societal mask that we put on um, for everyone else around us and not truly being authentic and not truly being ourselves feeling like we have to like be someone else so um, a huge part of self-love and um, glowing from the inside out is just realizing that you are perfect just as you are your body is so intelligent and beautiful it knows exactly what it needs and you should honor yourself you know you should really um, learn to love yourself because you can't really love um, life you know you can't love others truly and have a very deep um, meaningful relationship with your environment and with others if you don't first find that love within yourself so as far as the whole body uh, and self-care with the skin I love using a dry brush so dry brushing before I get in the shower just you know doing um, 
you always want to make sure the strokes are going towards your heart small little circles and this is great for collagen boosting as well and elasticity in the lymph and many other things in the body as well always being um, gentle so the type of like you know soap that I use always make sure that it's again natural maybe just like uh, some Dr. Bronner's that's a really great brand and um, I love doing self massage as well so I'll get out of the shower drive myself off and I just like lather my body in coconut oil some sort of one ingredient oil that is hydrating for the skin and just kind of massaging my body you know massaging my feet my legs my wrists just whatever is feeling good um, the massage is really really important for not only your skin but overall health it's just really amazing um, if you're living in a warmer climate with lots of sunshine, I really like to use like a big sun hat to protect my face. Um, I think it's extremely important to be getting outside every single day. I notice a huge difference in my skin when I am getting sunlight. Um, compared to like a winter season when I'm indoors more and then to the summertime getting that vitamin D directly on your skin getting the sunlight the fresh air makes a huge difference so even if it is like cold out or winter but bundling yourself up and just going for a walk if you can getting that fresh air is so it's so important for your skin um, so getting outside as much as possible of course most definitely but all in all you guys um, like I said just keeping it as simple as possible with ingredients focusing on self-love focusing on regulating your stress and your thoughts your thought processes are so important so if you're going through a little breakout you know that's okay but speaking to yourself kindly, notice your thoughts, notice when you are criticizing yourself or you're telling yourself you look ugly when you look in a mirror or something like this. Don't let yourself do this. And you know what? Um, even going through a, if you can't, if you're just like nonstop in that self-critical mode, especially every time you see yourself, take some time away from the mirror. Just don't even look at it or you know as few times as possible um, I've done this before and it was actually extremely healing and I would do all of this try not to look in the mirror and instead of visualize when I'm meditating how I want to look telling myself that I am beautiful focusing on self-love and nourishing my body from the inside out with my diet and my herbs and um, the nature around me and just really focusing on loving myself it's a huge huge difference so I really help hope <laughs> that this video was helpful for you I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video if you left a comment if you subscribed if you're not already thank you for watching if you did and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.